But this is the robot I made. All cut by hand, no laser cut, but maybe next time. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and start with the weapon, because that's pretty much where I started when I was building it. There we go. So obviously I've got a saw blade on the front as my primary and really only weapon. It can't lift, it can't really bash other than this. Um, so I just got this Dremel saw blade and I have adapted it to one of my brushless motors off of uh, a large quadcopter using a small adapter uh, piece that I 3D printed. Of course the brushless motor needs a brushless CSC. This is also stolen from uh, my big quadcopter. I'm really hoping I don't burn it up because this is my last uh, replacement for that quadcopter. So all that's packed forward in the front half of the bot. Um, I put a bunch of structural cardboard around that and this bottom is uh, two layers of cardboard with the flutes going in different directions so hopefully helps keep me stiff and this across the top here helps keep the front stiff. In practice I've bashed into things and it doesn't seem to have had any tr real troubles. Um, for the drive motors um, these motor gearbox and wheels are actually off of an old BattleBots RC toy that I got a very long time ago, probably when I was 13 or so. Um, but it, I was using it for some robotics, but uh, at this point I needed some cheap wheels and motors um, because the continuous rotation servos were just a little bit too slow for my taste. Um, so they got sacrificed. I literally cut it apart um, using the bandsaw uh, so that I could mount them properly and on a bit wider stance. Uh, to control these, it's also a bit of a hack. So if you take a servo apart, in the bottom half you find something like this, which is the actual mo DC motor that the servo uses to turn. A potentiometer that it uses to know uh, where it is at and the controller board which has um, which has uh, MOSFETs? No, transistors. That's what I'm thinking. Transistors to control the motor uh, forward and back. So if you take one of these and you modify it to do continuous rotation you basically just remove the potentiometer and make the uh, servo believe that it's, or the servo controller believe that it's always in the middle. So if you give it a high value, it'll turn one way continuously. If you give it a low value, it'll turn the other way continuously. And then, if you go ahead and remove this motor, um, and you plug it into a similarly sized motor, uh, you basically get a brushed motor uh, electronic speed controller that you can plug directly into the RC receiver, which I have here. So. Here I have two um, basically junk uh, ESCs for my drive motors um, that plug directly into my receiver and I get my tank control out of that. I've been, I was a little bit worried about them overheating, especially because this one is actually out of a, a small 9 gram servo, um, but they seem to be doing pretty well. Even though, and uh, I of course wrap them up in heat shrink so that I don't have a bunch of exposed traces everywhere. Um, everything's powered off the e the brushless ESC. It has a, a, a battery elimination circuit, so it's able to power the um, the receiver off of five volts, which then also powers these motors off of five volts. Um, and it's pretty fast, and uh, the saw blades really scary 